Okay, before I start this review, I need to I need to literally say at the top of my lungs, this is not going to be a kind review. I will rant on and on about about what I'm going to be reviewing today. But with that out of the way, I would like to present you with this review. Hello guys, this is me, Dave Pink243. I'm here for a video game review on the Sega Game Gear exclusive game known as Sonic Labyrinth. Now, you would think that that, you know, a Sonic game on the Game Gear would actually be pretty cool. I mean, we had games like Sonic Chaos and Sonic Triple Trouble, but unlike those games, Sonic Labyrinth is not good. Not good at all. Sonic Labyrinth, to put it simply, is a BORE FEST! A BORE FEST to the point where it's slow, tedious, and just overall not fun to play whatsoever. Why do I say this? Find out on this review of Sonic Labyrinth. Before I go on about the endless amount of negatives that I have about the game, so, um, yeah, before then, I, I do have two positives I want to point out. First off, the graphics do look colorful. The, the game looks really good for the time, which was 1995. Um, although, be be wary of, like, seizure-inducing moments. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but... Yeah, there are some times where the screen will just flash with, like, one color specifically whenever you do something. Not fun. But anyway, the other um, positive I want to say about the game is that it actually has an interesting plot, but it's also the driving force that brings my point home as to why the game is bad in the first place. So the plot is that Dr. Robotnik is just, it, like, his latest plans have been foiled again, and he's like, CURSE AT SONIC! I NEED A NEW PLAN! But he's always too fast. Wait. He's too fast for my traps. I know, I'll take away his speed, is basically what he envisioned. So he he creates these slowdown boots that are designed to literally slow the hedgehog down and keep him from moving around, and then like he sneaks in with one of his robots to swap Sonic's usual shoes with, with the slowdown boots. And and by the time that Sonic um puts them on next morning and 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 just tries to run, he figures out that he could barely run and, you know, tires out pretty easily. So, I think at this point, you could already see the problem with this game, but then there's a there's an entirely separate problem with the plot, with the fact that Dr. Robotnik literally comes out and he goes, ha 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 ha, Sonic, you have my snow now boots, you cannot run fast without, well, Chaos Emerald power, and the Chaos Emeralds are mine! And so you'll have to track them down in the labyrinth if you want if you want to beat me. And yeah. I have a problem with Robotnik saying all that because like why would he give away such a big hint to his enemy when he could just let him squirm in in agony? And it furthermore he tells him tells him where the Chaos Emeralds are in the first place, in his supposedly impregnable, um, labyrinth. I do, like, I do like the direction that the plot went by, but, you know, there are just a couple oddies that I don't like about it, and it's the reason why the gameplay is fucking horrible in the first place, so I guess I should get on with that. You see, as of classic Sonic tradition, story doesn't matter typically in terms of Sonic gameplay when it comes to the classic games, but Sonic Labyrinth is a bit different in the fact that it directly affects the gameplay. Since Sonic is wearing the slowdown boots, he cannot run whatsoever. He's he's moving at a snail's fucking pace in this game, and I hate it. Like, you need to spin dash everywhere just to get around, and you can't always control where you go with the spin dash because, um, it's a little wonky. I, I don't like it. Like, you have... You have these levels, like, yeah, they're pretty short, all things considered, but you need to find three keys each and every time. You need to find three keys, and then get to the goal. And, and what makes this even more irritating is that there's a timer. Um, 
timers, I hate them. Like, fuck off with the timers, guys. I, I don't like them, please. So, Sonic, like, he has to find these keys within these enemies that may potentially have them. Like, you have to basically guess whatever, wherever these enemies are located that have the keys. So, you have to literally scour the level just to try to find these stupid keys and then bring them to the goal. Now, luckily, when you do defeat enemies, you do get a little bit of time back and Collecting the keys for the first time, each key for the first time, will allow you to receive bonus time. But that still doesn't change the fact that, that every time we do get hit yourself, you lose time. You see, Sonic doesn't 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 pick up rings in the normal levels. Like o only during the boss stages, he he actually picks up rings. And speaking of the bosses. They are all way too fucking easy. Even Robotnik, the final boss, is a damn joke. Just spin dash so many times, and just as long as you keep yourself in the ball form, these guys cannot hurt you. J just wait for their weak spot to be exposed, and then and then hit them. I I don't like this game. It's too, it's too boring, too tedious. Fuck this game. Um. There are occasionally power-ups that Sonic could pick up, um, this is why I was talking about, like, the seizure-inducing moments. Yeah, when you pick up one of these power-ups, um, the screen kind of flashes quickly, and it's very uncomfortable to watch. I mean, especially for those with epileptic seizure, uh, problems, it, it, but still, it's just not very good to look at. Despite all the colorful graphics, it's just, I don't like it. <sighs> Sonic Labyrinth, it has this isometric view on top of that, and like, every time when you try to go up a slope, you have to use the spin dash. Just walking, just trying to get up a slope is not going to work. Not to mention, there, there are these different, like, stage gimmicks in some of these zones, In like, for instance, in the water zone, I forget what it's called, but like, you have to use these cannons, right, and they shoot you in, a, in any given direction to where they're set at. Sure, sure they help you get around in the level, but that also means that um, you could get lost because some of these levels can be clusterfucks. And, you know, it's hard to describe what kind of game this well, game is in terms of genre. Like, is it a puzzle game? Is it, is it an exploration type of game? Like, how do you classify Sonic Labyrinth as a game? Just, how do you classify it? What genre is it in? Like, the best way I can describe Sonic 3D Blast as, like, it's not like its own genre, but it's like a 3D, no, not 3D, it's like a, it's like an isometric adventure exploration game. Like, think of it as like Sonic CD, except not nearly as interesting, and that the levels don't reward you for back for backtracking whatsoever and just give you pain which yeah this is like way worse than Sonic CD in that regard when it comes to backtracking because at least in those levels like those levels are optimized for backtracking the ones in Sonic Labyrinth are not and it's a fucking pain to deal with it's so much of a bitch that, like it really just I hate it. And oh yeah, every time you get hit, um, you lose all of your keys. They scatter around everywhere and you have to find them again. I mean, they're not too far away from, from where you get hit, but... It, it's... Like, you're still re-looking for them. Um, it doesn't change the fact that these keys are fucking horrible. It doesn't change the fact that the timer itself is fucking horrible. And... One more thing, uh, there's actually two different control schemes. There is straight and diagonal, I believe. Um, both of these I don't think are, like, too much different. Um, I would just go with straight if I were you. But, um, Song Labyrinth's, uh, music and sound effects, they're not really all that great. Um, pretty unfor- pretty forgettable, actually. I, I couldn't remember what each of the sound effects sounded like. Fuck this game. Fuck Sonic Labyrinth. Fuck everything that it tries to do. Sega... Oh, okay. Whoever developed Sonic Labyrinth... They just simply went with the wrong direction on this one. Like... And yeah, Sonic can't jump in this game, so... You have two of Sonic's main aspects taken away from him. 
you can't move very fast, and you can't jump either. Because the slowdown boots prevent him from jumping. So... So, you can't even consider it a platformer at that rate. It's... It's fucking stupid. It, this game is always a chore to play. Because you barely have any freedom as to what you could be doing. Ugh. Please, just don't play Sonic Labyrinth. Sonic Labyrinth is horrible. It... It's... It's a Game Gear game not worth playing. I'll just say it that much. They, I would rather play Sonic Blast than this game. I would rather play Sonic Chaos than this game. I would rather play Triple Trouble than this game. You see where I'm getting at here? Like, pretty much every other Game Gear game that Sonic's had. Like, they're all better than this game. They're all better. This one is the worst of the bunch by far, and I can't really see any other way. Uh, one out of five stars. This game is is garbage. I mean, the graphics and the 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 the, the, the well told story, like th th those allow Sonic Labyrinth to not have a zero out of five stars. But but damn, I would say that Sonic Labyrinth is the worst Sonic game I've ever played personally. Like besides Sonic 06 and Sonic Genesis, because those games are like they're still worse. But in terms of, like, actual design games, like, like, Sonic Labyrinth wasn't designed horribly or anything, it's just that they went with, they simply went with the wrong direction on this one, like, like, Sonic is not memorable when you take away his speed and, and platforming. What do you get with Sonic after that? Like, y you get nothing, he's just, he's just a boring-ass fucking hedgehog that can't go fast or jump, and that's just the end of it, like, he becomes uninteresting at that point. You, you take away his best attributes, and I will never understand why they, they went with this choice. Sonic Labyrinth, just to end things off, I don't recommend this game at all. Skip out on it entirely, should you want to save your own sanity. I am DavePing243, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Sonic Labyrinth. Th th this is a trash game, and it should always stay in its trash, for, for, for a damn good reason. But I'll, I'll see you guys next time for whatever game review I happen to come up with. See you guys then.